You're listening to CIUT 89.5 FM, live at the Metro Toronto Convention Center for the Study and Go Abroad Fair. We forgoed our regular studio as well as our regular programming of Ultra Latino, which returns next week. For now, we'll hear from Kate as she chats with Medway School of Pharmacy representatives Anastasia and Lisa. Hey, welcome, Lisa and Anastasia. Hello, Hi. thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, so you two are both current students at the Medway School of Pharmacy, which is associated with both the University of Greenwich and the University of Kent. And it's a four-year program for future pharmacists. As current students, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what the curriculum's like. So we've currently done four months. So as of right now, we have covered... Um, the basic chemistry, organic chemistry, physical chemistry. Um, in biology, we've done... Um, pharmacology. Yes. Physiology. Um, also a bit of pharmacy practice as well. Okay. Just to get you started with what you will expect um, as a pharmacist mm -hmm. when you finish the four years. So some of the practical skills. Yeah. Yes. Like dispensing and being in... We've done placement as well, going into community pharmacies um, oh, great. within England, just to get a picture of what it will be like. So it's a, a four-year program. Years one to three is an undergrad, and the fourth year is a master's component. Yes. What are some of the benefits of that? Um, well, it's always beneficial to have a master's degree, because mm -hmm. um, as most of us know, the Bachelor of Science doesn't really get us as far as we would like, Absolutely. Um, compared to like a few years ago when it was very beneficial. Mm -hmm. And now it's almost essential to have a master's uh, degree in order to get the preferred job that someone would want in mm -hmm. industry, or even in practice as well. And the program is associated with two universities. Are there added benefits to that? I mean, are there perks? Absolutely. So um, in terms of being associated with both schools, we have the benefit of having both schools, clubs, and um, societies. So we have access to both uh, universities. Uh, we also have the ability to visit both campuses. We have two student cards, so one for the University of Greenwich and one for the University of Kent. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the benefits is um, there's a free shuttle service to Canterbury, mm -hmm. which is a very historic um, city in Kent. Mm -hmm. And um, because we're also associated with Kent, we get to go there for free. Mm -hmm. And so what is Kent like uh, in terms of the environment? Um, well, Kent is considered the Garden of England. Ooh. So yeah, <laughs> um, the scenery is just beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Even just taking the train ride from London into the city itself, you'll see so much of what Kent has to offer. Um, it's gardens, like history, even the campus itself. It was a formal naval base. So oh, a lot cool. of history to offer. And, mm -hmm. Uh, and is the application process similar to that of other UK universities? Is that what students should expect? Um, absolutely. So we use the UCAS um, uh, website. So I'm pretty sure it's standardized for all UK universities. Um, yeah, so for myself, I applied on my own. I know Lisa used the... Um, um, I used the service. Um, I was... Uh, I'm not sure. Across the pond, I believe. Across the yes. pond, yes. Oh, great. And they helped me through the application sure. process. Um, just because it can be a bit confusing in terms of qualifications. Mm -hmm. um, the UK system varies because here we use percentages, like grades like A, B, C, mm -hmm. whereas in the UK it's a bit different. Okay. So they definitely helped me through that process. Mm -hmm. Great. And in terms of student life, what are the extracurriculars like? So we have a variety of sports teams. Obviously, football, as <laughs> our <laughs> soccer is rugby huge. Is rugby very big there, yes. Um, uh, football, there's also um, like music clubs, there's a go-karting club, um, there's a, basically a variety for whatever a student would like. Most clubs are situated in the school. I think yeah. you mentioned before uh, when we were chatting uh, that Wednesday is a particularly special day in terms yes. of extracurriculars. Yes. <laughs> so there are no scheduled classes after 12 p.m. So the day is free to join sports clubs and most, um, I believe all the... Um, the sports games and club meetings will be scheduled Wednesday, so you have no excuse time to miss them. Yeah. <laughs> so it can be very hectic, like with a course such as pharmacy, you need that time to focus on extracurriculars mm -hmm. just to get involved in the school, because that's what ultimately makes a student experience is absolutely. with the extracurriculars. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and do most students have an undergrad already? You two both did. No, actually. It's oh, very okay. common for students to come straight out of high school. Oh, we are actually okay. one of the, um, well, yeah. some of the older students, students. in the class. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, yeah. So a lot of them are 18, 19. I think yeah. that's 
pretty standard for UK to apply right out of high school. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. I see. Um, and what are the class sizes like? Um, they're relatively small, like compared to universities here in Canada, mm -hmm. even in Ontario, where you would expect a large class size. Mm -hmm. um, but in the UK, it's about like our classes range from about a hundred people, which is a lot better because you have great professor to student interaction. Mm -hmm. Like Absolutely. they're very approachable, and you're able to go up and ask any questions that you would like. And there's not that like barrier that you would find here mm -hmm. with like a large class size. You might be embarrassed sometimes to ask questions. There, everyone is very friendly and very approachable. Uh, in terms of uh, accommodations, I know there's you can live on campus or off campus. Uh, maybe you can describe those two situations a little bit. Yes, so um, we both have unique experiences. <laughs> so um, since the university is associated with the two universities, um, I stay in University of Kent accommodation and Lisa is at I University of Greenwich. And I stayed at Greenwich um, okay. on campus. So a very different experience. Um, it's up to the student what they would prefer. Obviously, on campus, you have direct access to all university facilities, such as the library, the gym, even the lecture halls. You can literally just get up out of your bed and go straight to class if you would prefer. Right. Um, but there's obviously like disadvantages as well, where um, it's a bit smaller, so it's not as bigger as right. the off-campus accommodation would be. Okay. Um, but it's ultimately up to the person what they would prefer. So mine is about 10, 15 minute walk from campus, mm -hmm. but we have um, a grocery store, Subway, and Domino's right beside our building. Oh, nice. So we have the added benefit of that. Um, and there's a lot more um, upper year students that live at the University of Canada Foundation. Um, studying abroad can be expensive. Uh, are, is there any financial aid available for Canadian students? Uh, definitely. There is, um, the program is recognized by OSAP, That's great. which is the loan funding for Ontario, which is very helpful because, as we all know, studying abroad can be very expensive. Mm -hmm. So the money that they do give us does help in your studies, and it does encourage other applicants from Ontario to go study abroad overseas. I was curious, um, do many students, after the program is over, do they register as qualified pharmacists in the UK and stay there and work, or do most people come back to Canada or wherever they're studying from? A uh, majority of students in our program are um, residents in the UK, so they have to do an extra year. Oh, they have okay. the fifth year, which is called a pre-registration year, so it's basically a one-year internship. Hmm. And then they have to write their board exams, and then they can work. Um, I know for myself, I plan on returning to Canada. Right. Yeah, same so, with myself yeah. as well. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. And you said there was a little bit about practice placements. Maybe you can describe those a little bit um, in more detail. Sure. So um, first year, the placement is only for one day, okay. and you're placed in a community pharmacy in England. Hmm. So you actually get to interact with like the locals and see how they are and see how the operations vary a little bit. Because pharmacies from like Canada to England, some things are like a bit different. Right. Um, in second year, the placement is actually for one week. So you act for one consecutive week. You'll go to a different pharmacy located in a different part of England. Um, for you to get an experience of how it would be there. Mm. Um, third year, I believe it's a two-week placement. And in a hospital in a setting. Hospital. So oh, you get the yeah. exposure to both different types of pharmacy. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it gives you an idea, well, like when you finish your degree, of what you would rather be in community or pharmacy. Because the two can be very different. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have an overall idea of where you would like to go. Do you have an idea of where you would like to go? Um, not yet. I think because we're just in our first year, we need to experience both types of settings both in community and both in hospital mm -hmm. to get a more accurate picture of where we will see ourselves in the future. Uh, in terms of the facilities, I know research and research facilities is a big part of pharmacology. Mm -hmm. um, what are the facilities like at the university? They're really nice. Oh, um, the school itself is, the program itself, sorry, is only 10 years old, oh. so a lot of the facilities are pretty new. Um, yes. We're also rated, I believe, the top three for yes. yeah, pharmacology in all of the UK. Great. So yeah, we definitely have a good reputation for that. Um, the science, like the professors, they are excellent. Mm -hmm. They make sure that you understand the material that you're covering. Um, also, the facilities are very excellent as well. Are most of your professors practicing pharmacologists? Yes, fifty percent of the of staff are pharmacists currently okay. working That's in the great. field. Yes. Yeah, and the rest are pharmacologists or studying pharmacy. So yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for sitting thank down with you. me. Um, thank you for having me. Really